That's right. Government does not create wealth, people do. Yeah. You know, it's something we don't need more new taxes, we just need new leadership. Yeah. Yeah. On behalf of the committee, I'm hoping you will join with us. Vote no on Prop 1A, it is not a solution, it is a continuation of the problem. Thank you. Here in the Animal Valley, and I gotta tell you that this sucks. <laughs> you know what? I can't pass this on to my employees. I can't give them a raise. I won't give them a raise. And it makes it absolutely impossible for us to compete in a competitive field. I have a natural on. And you know what? We're tired of this. But what happens is us owners have to take the brunt of all of this. And it affects every single one of us because I'm not able to advertise like I want to, I'm not able to hire like I want to, and I'm not able to really compete, like I said, on the competitive level. And just for a second, I want to read some of these signs, and it says, board free, tax death. Your poor, your poor broke my piggy bank. I saw another one that says something about government stupidity, and I gotta tell you, stupid is as stupid does. Do you know what? Yeah. You wear those stupid ass. It's gonna come out on that television oh, yeah. talking to us, telling us that it's okay and that we need Prop A1 to pass. We oh, suck. Good. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell 10 people, and I'm gonna tell those 10 people to tell 10 people, and 10 more and 10 more, and all of us do the same. Yeah. Let's raise our voices and let's say that we are mad. I buried two of my grandparents and my brother in the last few years and I uh, I never shed a tear. This gentleman called me the other day after he saw the ad in the paper, because my phone number was in there and so was my email address. And he called me and told me his story and the man left me sobbing. Up next is uh, Walter Morales. I'm not the only one probably going through it. And I know there's a lot of people, they're in the same boat that I am. Uh, I speak with an accent, but I've been in America for a long time. I've been here for a long time. Taxes. She's an American, blonde hair, blue eye. And she was diagnosed with cancer five years ago. She worked through the first few treatments. She had the treatments on Thursday, went to work, uh, and then went back to work on, uh, on Monday. She did that for two years. Why? Because we have kids in school, because we have bills. House. We were to lose our house. We have worked for so hard. The American dream. She did that. And in 2006, they came to a condition. Unfortunately, in 2007, cancer metastasized her bones. And she started treatment again. She couldn't work. Um, we depleted our savings account. We depleted everything that we have. And then I started to uh, do the process to go to the Medi-Cal and see if I could get my wife Medi-Cal so that Medi-Cal can pay for some of her treatments. We were denied. But yet, you know, some people call it racist, some people call it bigotry, some people call it a lot of things. But what's right is right. You know, she needs the treatments, but yet she can't get it, you know, because She's an American citizen. Yeah. Yeah. If she was an illegal immigrant, she would have all this stuff. They said that we make too much, we have too much. And, and then, when I, when I went to uh, Mr. Steve Knight's office, they helped me and they expedited some of the process. But you know what? We have a share of payment every month of one thousand six hundred and sixty eight dollars for
that is not right. And we have all these people collecting. They don't belong in this country. They weren't illegal. If you look at a dictionary, it's called violating the law.